quite a timid thrill, considering I thought it was going to be a downright boring chill. Hey guys, so here is my review of episode 11 of Supernatural Season 11. Now, at least to say, we were set up with quite a bit of knowledge and whoa moments from the last episode. Lucifer is walking the earth once again. And they don't really talk about it this episode at all. Really what we're talking about is a banshee. The beginning of the episode starts with a family in Ireland 30 years ago that was killed by a banshee. Now, the reason why I'm mentioning this is because the banshee is the is downright one of the best effects that Supernatural has done in a while. Now, Supernatural has been known to have very good visual effects despite its limited budget. It uses what it has very well. There hasn't really ever been a moment where the effects are bad, except for when they were in Hollywood. That was season two, mind you, but my god, that fake sun sunrise was awful. But this, honestly, it was really good. It was movie quality good i'm i'm going to say that like i really want that to be known whoever the visual effects editors were for this episode in particular the guys who worked on that banshee you get my ultimate praise because that effect was amazing because it looked like it was a both a mix of cg and a real person so now onto the episode itself it starts off just like a normal filler what does it start with? Well, we don't know where Mara is and we got nothing on cast, so why don't we just take a case? I was sitting there going, oh no, 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 not again, not again, no. But it continued the same sort of theme that we were getting from the first few episodes of this season, which is even though it's a filler episode, we're still getting information. We're still getting actual forward movement of the story or development with our characters because Sam and Dean once again talk. It's kind of like that episode where it was the baby episode, the one where they were in the car the whole time. They're getting this conversation out. They're talking about Amara. They're talking about... Actually, they're talking about Lucifer and Sam's basically regret with what he's done and how he's actually officially sort of apologizing now for leaving Dean in purgatory. And then we're also getting moments about Dean. He's wondering now, well, if I'm supposed to destroy the darkness, why am I feeling this way? Why am I feeling this connection, this want for her? And we get Cass and him having this conversation, and he's not cheesing it up, mind you, thank goodness. But there is a bit of a very... He's turning the wheels once again you can see but almost for his own enjoyment not for the sake of just actually ruining people's lives but he's actually kind of curious as well oh and also there was a moment at the beginning of the episode where castiel blew up an angel also there was a squirrel that walked in behind did you guys notice that i wonder if uh misha collins noticed that when he was doing this take good job dude because the fact that a squirrel actually walked on to the uh, scene while they were filming that that's pretty impressive but the episode itself it was about them taking on this banshee and actually hooking up with the girl whose family was killed by it and she actually lost her hearing when it attacked her family originally 30 years ago so to see them work with this death girl was very interesting it was cool to see them interact with a character who had a disability in this sense and i liked this character i thought she was cool the brothers kind of got to talk to her about the meaning of revenge and what you get out of it and it was interesting to hear them talk about it considering they haven't really talked about revenge since season two so it was interesting to see this happen there was also this old lady that was putting the moves on dean sort of and she was honestly one of the funniest parts the sign language conversations between her and the deaf girl were some of the best moments of the episode it actually boosted the episode considerably because the thing that is always been kind of prevalent with supernatural episodes is that their side characters are okay but they're never really developed they're not very multifaceted admittedly the old lady was kind of was very very singular but she did have a little bit of a curve to her and the deaf girl was also had a very good curve to her despite her limitations she actually was able to convey a character that i thought was believable i didn't also so care for them taking on the monster mind you there was a little bit of a twist of how they took down the banshee that i actually didn't see coming because it takes on dean it goes at the person who's most vulnerable, and Dean is most vulnerable. I honestly thought it was going to be Sam, but I was like, oh, hmm, interesting. But this episode did play out well. The monster, its look was amazing, but the story of the revenge and everything, you're not really going to remember that part. You are going to remember the humor. You're going to remember how cool the creature looks. You're also going to 
kind of wonder what's going to happen with Dean and Amara. Like, I really do wonder if I'm right, if they have to both die to destroy each other. So, what is my rating of this episode? Well, considering how great the effects were and how good this episode was, despite the fact that I thought it wasn't going to be that great, I'm going to give this episode a 5 out of 7. I enjoyed it. I actually enjoyed it more than the previous episodes. It's a memorable filler episode, and that's good because those suck when they are not memorable. Anyway, guys, that's all from me. I hope you enjoyed this review, and I'll see you guys next time.